And we're good to continue. Welcome back, YouTube, if you're watching later. Second half of whatever I'm doing here. Yeah, uh, ginger and lemongrass tea is what I'm having, in case anyone's curious. What are, you, what are the odds are that the apples have grown in the time that I've been just sitting... It doesn't have to check. Yeah, I do like the ginger lemongrass tea. It's nice. I mean, I'm going to check, but I know I'm probably going to be disappointed. I can't tell. <laughs> Just it hasn't hasn't filled in yet. <laughs> Two for one. It hasn't grown back. <laughs> to pound me up. Hey! Ow! Ow! <laughs> I don't know. I'm right here. Why, why haven't you found me yet? I don't know why I make stupid noise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a stitch voice, really? I don't know. I wasn't trying to be a stitch voice. I wouldn't be able to do it again. I wouldn't be able to say anything. I'd probably just be able to make the noise. I know I can do a golem voice pretty reliable. Reliably. Don't learn.
stopping here for a minute. Because there's good shit here. Did, it, did that one just fly away? That's kind of brutal for those apples to not reappear. I mean, in my first playthrough, I remember a tree repeatedly getting struck by lightning. I guess I just didn't come back to it until way later, but... That would have sucked. <laughs> I say repeatedly because it just kept happening whenever I would walk over to the Korok. The game just did not want me to get that Korok then. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a ball, play with it. Uh-oh. I need to be- I need to be quick. Trading it, because this one's a fresh one. <laughs> The game was giving me a challenge. Yeah, that's that's it. I think conceptually I, I just have good luck. Even if it's bad, it just means that, well, something extremely unlikely happened to me. Whether positive or negative, it's something unlikely. That would be a good time to cook, but can't cook. I'll give you an example of real life good luck. When I was a kid, there was uh, this brand of potato chips that like every now and then they would do this promotion where you'd open you know, these smaller bags, not the large ones, but the small ones, single serving bags. And you had a chance to win another bag of chips. It was like one in three. It wasn't one, it wasn't 50 50. So I got seven back to back. Just, you know, bought it, opened it. Oh, free one. Okay, go redeem it. Then redeemed it with the free one, got another free one, seven times in a row. And then the next the next day I broke my watch at school. The blood moon rises once again. Like, that's just how it is. Please be careful. 
It's all right. It was just it was a plastic one, and it was it was fixed pretty easily. It was just the the part that held the band. But you know, that's just that's just stuff that happens to me. In this game, hey, how about getting struck by lightning without any weapons on? Seven bags of chips is really good. No, it is. It definitely is. But I had stuff like that happen. And my my purchase my parents purchased me my first cell phone, and then I think like a couple of weeks later I won a competition that won me a smartphone, like one of the early ones. It wasn't a okay. It was a good smartphone, but it was embarrassing to use. I've, I've talked about this thing before, but it was uh, made by Nokia, or Nokia, however you want to pronounce it. It was a gaming phone. It's called the N-Gage, and it was shaped like a taco shell. And it, uh, it played games. It was, it was cool. It was also one of the first phones that let you use a normal headphone jack and had stereo audio on it. And memory cards so you could read mp3s it was great but talking on it was a was an absolute embarrassment the easiest way i can describe it is just go go get yourself a taco shell one of the one of the crispy ones hold it to your ear sideways so then you know the flat part is against your ear that's what i looked like talking into that thing because they put the speaker on the side of the phone for some reason So, yeah. Was it good luck to win the phone? Absolutely. But it came with a, with a cost. I'm just looking like an idiot when making a phone call. Every time I had that phone out and I was talking into it, someone was always like, what are you doing? I'm making a call. What? Why are you holding it that way? Because that's where the speaker is. Oh, that's really dumb. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. But, it's a smartphone. And it could play Sonic the Hedgehog and Tony Hawk. On the go. Fun, fun thing. I called it the taco phone, and then from that point forward, any time uh, my device had the ability to name it, I would call it taco phone. For the longest amount of time. Just in honor of that phone. It's nice to not have to look at the map for a while. I mean, I... Hang on, let me... Oh, I've already gone past it. Oh, no, but that's just... Okay, I see what that is. That's just an enemy spot. Huck. 
I guess if I have to go this way. Let's do that. been through here. I just figure since I'm heading in this direction. May as well cover some of this, this high ground. Another advantage to the taco phone was, uh, cell phones were, they weren't banned, I mean, you know, they used the word banned, but they, they were ignored. You weren't allowed to have them in class. So, there were a few teachers that refused to believe that what I was holding was a cell phone, so they thought it was like a calculator, or a gaming device. They never thought it was a cell phone, even though it was. So the, the, the positive side to it, sort of. It's cool. Well, <sighs> you say that, but I bet, I bet if I showed you a photo of it and asked, hmm, would you want to be caught in public using this thing? Hang on. I'm gonna find... I'm gonna find a photo of it. <laughs> oh fuck, this hurts. This is painful. Okay. I'll get, I'll get a- I'll get a picture of- I'll get a picture of it. I'll get two pictures, it's like, you know... When you look at it, it's like, oh, that thing, that thing looks kind of neat. Okay, so this is the, this is the device. Right? So, you know, in the middle, you had a D-pad, and then the 5 and the 7 were your A and B, but sometimes the other buttons could be used for other stuff. Music player, radio, internet browser, yeah. Very crusty picture. It came from Wikipedia. Blame Wikipedia. And in the bottom, you had your stereo head jack. Pretty cool. Now, the thing that wasn't cool about it, however, is this is this is how this is how you fucking talk into the thing. The back was facing upwards, and then exactly where that yeah, the earpiece is on the railing, for some fucking reason. <laughs> and that's how you would make phone calls on that thing. Just, it's one of those things where surely someone was the voice of reason and gone, hey, this looks kind of stupid, but then someone else was like, nah, you know what, it'll be fine. It was cool looking until I showed how to talk into it. Exactly. 
So, I could talk about how this phone, I was able to use it in class. Have it in class and teachers wouldn't think it was a cell phone. But the downside is you look like an utter buffoon using, using it to make a phone call. Someone just would be like, are you holding that wrong? What's wrong with you? Why are you, why are you talking into your phone that way? It's unique. They did make a revision where you talk into it normally, but at that point the device was uh, dead in the water. It didn't continue because it was very expensive, didn't sell well, and because it didn't sell well, not many developers made games for it. So. People use mobiles to make calls. Not, any, not anymore. You know, if I had the option to go on a plan that only had data and didn't give me a phone number, I would take it up in a heartbeat. Because, I'll tell you right now, no, the only people that call me right now are telemarketers and scam artists. Anyone else messages me. There's just, I don't see a reason to have a phone number right now. Other than, oh, you have to have one to be able to get mobile data. I, I can't remember the last time I got a phone call from someone that I was like, oh, cool, I want this phone call to happen. I don't answer my phone. <laughs> I just don't, because... If I was to take record of a hundred phone calls, probably one of them would be, hey, yeah, I want this phone call. Need one so companies can sell your number to telemarketers. Ugh. So you can do that with email address. It's kind of a moot point. It's just annoying. If anything, it's the school. That's fair. I know um, some schools are doing group chats now instead of phone calls, so they'll just message. Or they'll be like, hey, jump on this chat application. So they'll pick like WhatsApp or something. My, one of the things that I uh, used to do with telemarketers in particular was just figure out ways to waste their time, but subtly so. One of, one of the ones I used to do as a teenager, I don't do it anymore. Cause I think I've matured a little, but, you know... It'd be a telemarketer and be like, hey, listen, before, before you start, I, I need to say sorry, um, I have a bit of a nervous tick that I can't control. Um, so, I hope that's okay, and, you know, they're understanding, like, oh, sure. And so, just, anytime they interrupt, or start a sentence, anything, it's good. Just, constantly interrupt them. And just until they uh, they kind of catch on.
Yeah, I used to... Uh, used to be very bored as a teenager, chat. Do you still have, um, these, these ads that, the, that were on these machines that, it was like a roll of paper and they would roll up an ad, you know, it was, there were two sides to the display and then it would roll an ad up, if that makes sense. I mean, these days, most shit is like a, a screen, but I still see them from place to place at like, uh, bus stops. I used to stand in front of that, and I used to face it, and I used to do swipe gestures up to make it look like I was interacting with a touch screen. I would do that like four or five times and then walk away and see if anyone else would try to do it, and almost every time someone would try to do it. Just waiting for my, my train or bus, whatever it was, just killing time. Keeps you busy. Yeah, I mean... If only... If only the internet was good in Australia back then. I think I just started streaming... 10 years too late. Maybe more. In high school, had a friend that, uh, worked at a cell phone sh store. So it wasn't like, uh, one of the big, you know, telcos, right? It was just a store that sold phones on contracts. It was owned by his uncle or something. Anyway, he was able to get his hands on, um, the plastic demo phones, so whenever they were done with them, he'd ask his uncle if he could have them, and his uncle would give it to him. So, we would walk around, uh, the business district here, and, uh, one of them would be on the phone, and pretend to get into an argument with someone, and then they would throw the phone on the ground and just stomp on it and walk away. Again, stupid teenager shit, but, yeah, keeping busy. Because they were just plastic, it didn't matter. Like, we weren't going to do anything else with them. <laughs> Doesn't get old. Getting them off the horses. Okay, halfway there. Oh, this tea is so good. I think that's the tower I need to head to over there. Oh, no. It's that way. I think I need to... Hang on. What's the best way to go to? I think... Yeah. I think going from here, but then over there. Okay. I hope I got the right dragon. It could be the wrong dragon. Wait, there's a chest here? Where are you going, fish? 
trying to get away from me. Wait, there's a Korok here. Oh! That's a pleasant surprise. I, I see it. That's another chest. How'd I miss this one? See what I mean? Like, I was being pretty thorough here, but I still miss one. Uh, hang on. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, haha. -ha. Two eighty-seven. Oh, that's another chest again. What? What is going on? Oh, there's another chest. <laughs> that animation just doesn't get old. Open the chest like a normal human being, Link. Just you don't have to kick it open. Just walk around. Suppose he has the Triforce of Courage and not Wisdom, huh? Force of courage. Oh. Well, I got the feeling I may have gone on this one already. That's the reason, sir. No, okay. I reached for my tea, and then those enemies appeared. On course. This is just so I can wrap up, uh, Akala. Oh shit, that's good timing. Is it somewhere fair? Accessible? 
Uh, it might be. It might be. It might be. Chat, the last time I went to get one of these, a pig killed me before I could get it, so... The bar is not very high in terms of accessible. Oh no, yeah, that's that's cool. Just appear in the side of a mountain. Oh sh shit. I'm gonna have to use the ancient arrow on that one. Wait, where am I for this to be happening? I guess? I, I wasn't aware that they were here too. Wait, is that thing alive or not? I can't tell. It looks functional. You know, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't bother. There hasn't been a Korok yet. I'm gonna make it! Hey, nice. That's two. Yeah, so, uh... This is, this is the spot that I'm referring to. Wait, it's blue main. Why is it blue main? It's not gold yet. I thought this one was a gold one. Okay, well, that's where I need to go anyway. Like, I'm, I'm here. This is the place. Good. Oh, right, we got- we got new stuff here. We got banana. Mighty banana. Drive that pharaoh. There's Korok here. I'll bother with the Wow, okay. Shit. Oh. Okay, hold on. Damn it! <laughs> that's what I was waiting for. That was that's what I that's what I was waiting for. I was just in a bad spot. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, but it surely it should be okay now. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Korok is done. This should appear any second now. Alright, I'm ready for this. Come out, dragon. Why is why no dragon this time? <laughs> I can't believe it. I might have to uh, do a campfire. Uh, hold up. This is the only downside to the borrowed HUD is. What time is it? It's 4.40 a.m. Okay. I need to note the time. Okay, uh, one sec. Was... Was my... There it is. Yeah, it has to be metallic. Uh, metallic weapon... That'll do. It until night. I know that I know the way I used to do this. It was. I'm trying to remember if it was morning or night. I think it was night. But you would camp, and then at a certain hour, the dragon comes out. I'm just gonna make note of that hour. I don't think I have shock resist, do I? I think I do. Yeah, but it's probably not worth it. Okay. Well, I'll just sit here and sip my tea for like, uh, I don't know, a minute. Dragon will appear. I'll get a scale and then we'll go back. Hey, Messiah, how are you? How, uh, how is the recovery? How many Koroks have I done? Uh, 288? getting there. I'm just getting a scale from, uh, Farosh. Way too long getting old. <laughs> oh, no. It's alright. The important thing is I'm sure you had a good time to make up for that, uh, that hangover. If I re remember, it's when the moon is directly in front of me right now. That's when the dragon appears. I'm only going to do one. I just need the scale so then we can go drop it off at the, uh the shrine, and then be done with a, a Kala.
It also depends what you're drinking as well. Oh, really? I won't be able to get to that in time. Like, what's your usual go-to? Is it perfectly at midnight? It might be. Okay, I'm gonna save right now. Yeah, you know what? You know what would help if I had a bow equipped. Unfortunately, at a certain point, you are no longer so picky. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I can understand that. What? It should be happening. Where's, where's the dragon? Oh, crap. There! Okay, here we go. It's showtime. Hit it. Okay. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Nice. Perfect. Perfect! Excellent. And there's Farosh. Just take a photo of the tail. Alright. Okay. <laughs> now we head back. But this is a spot that I'm going to come back to. I know three spots where it's very easy to get the dragons. You just have to camp it out. Oh no. No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, you know what? <laughs> ah! I might be able to get that. That looks like I might be able to get that too. Why, why do I hear dragon? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, just go. It's not that far away. Okay, in the interest of getting this, I'm going to use stamina food. Oh yeah, I can turn... There we go. How's the run going? It's going well, I'm getting stuff done, but I did get struck by lightning uh, without wearing anything. Quite literally didn't have a weapon, didn't have a shield, didn't have a bow. Got struck by lightning, so that was fun. Uh, yesterday I glitched the game multiple times. There's an apple tree that just refuses to have an apple on it, so I can't get the Korok on it yet. I mean, maybe when I go back it, I can show it, but...
Nice. Take that. But yeah, I mean, I've been working on a color. Doing okay, and then I mean, I'm thinking where I should go next. If I should go here, I'm thinking cover this region, and then we can do Goron Mountain. Not that I'll we'll see how far we get today because it's like already midnight. Just thinking what's the best way to go there. Probably through the village. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I wanted that, but the... The chew... Choo-choo's just scared it. That is scary. Oh crap, no, that's a Yiga. That's a Yiga. I <laughs> know that's a Yiga. If I could preemptively just explode that person, I would. Ah, <sighs> how's uh, people's Monday going? Since it's officially Tuesday for me now. Had a pretty busy one for Monday. Just starting? Yeah, I imagine. We're not talking to to you until the end, test has to. It's gonna result in that a dance for almost twenty minutes. It's going. Does anyone have like a, a ritual they do on a Monday to help out? I usually try to get breakfast on a Monday. Mondays are like any other day. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, I guess I'm strictly speaking about like a, a typical Monday to Friday type setup. Just work. Yeah, okay. For me, it's just so I can start the week and just... I wouldn't say have energy, but it just makes it easier. Get stuff going.
The snow fast travel thing adds up after a while. Oh, wait, the, uh, the Guardian's gonna be alive again. I need to find more shields. <laughs> I've only got two shields left. Or, or at the very least a pot lid or something. It doesn't have to be a good shield. Just anything. Just always in trouble. I've helped them once or twice when I can send an explosion that knocks them away and into a river or something, but it's just. I think they just should have left that fight be and not upgrade those enemies. Then you have incentive. So, from that Tears of the Kingdom final trailer, the one that, uh, we watched, at the end where Zelda's like, you need to find me, Link, I had a feeling that the internet would figure out where Zelda was, and sure enough they did, they triangulated where she was going to be. So she's behind the, uh, the Temple of Time. So she's not exactly somewhere that should be hard to find. She's behind the Temple of Time. Not exactly difficult to find her. Just internet detectives at work again. Just by the backdrops and everything, yep, they figured it out. Exact spot where she is. I could go stand there. I don't think it's even a spoiler. I don't think it's even going to be that significant. I think it's going to be largely inconsequential. It might even be just something that's in the trailer and not in the game. I think had she said anything other than come find me, Link, no one would have said anything. But the fact that she said come find me, Link, the internet went, okay, she can't be that hard to find. Where is she? 
<laughs> so they brought it upon themselves. Let's just deal with that before that becomes a problem. And then now we follow. I may have gone a little too far. I've gone the long way around. Like, probably could have cut across. It's fine. I don't think I've, I've found that many Koroks tonight. <laughs> Tonight's been kind of light on them. It depends on the region, because I feel like some of the regions are very barren compared to others. There's some regions where you, you can't go 30 seconds without bumping into one. And then there are others where it's just this void of nothing. I'm going to laugh if I have the wrong dragon, but I'm pretty sure it's the correct dragon. But is- do I have the correct dragon? I'm paranoid. <laughs> this, this dragon here, it's the one of power. Shit, I might have the wrong dragon. I have the, the one of courage, don't I? It should say on the quest tracker. Ah. Uh, I don't have it. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up because I'm at I'm at the crossroad. We're here. I could head this way, but what if it's the wrong? What if it's the wrong dragon? Then I've got it wrong.
Or I'd stick to change category. Oh, there it is. Power. No, but it doesn't say who it, who it is. Legend didn't say what... Okay. I get the feeling I've got it, I've got it wrong. No, it's Denroll. <laughs> I went and got Ferocious Scale. <laughs> it's Denroll. Ferocious, Ferocious Scale is back to where Ferocious is. I need to get Denroll. Uh... Okay, let me think. I think I know how to get Din Scale. There's a spot that's tried and true, but it's it's a bit of a detour. Yeah, I know where to go. Okay. I'm going to my spot. I think I think I'm gonna get the horse out just to make it easier. Good thing I looked. It just occurred to me, I was like, wait a minute. That dragon, there was another shrine just w near the dragon. Okay, the other thing that could happen, which is lucky, is if I get a blood moon at the right time. Well, looks like we're going to do a lot more walking. <laughs> Something about walking a hundred miles than walking a hundred more. To be the man who walked a hundred miles, something, something. Da da da. That's probably an old song that no one gets. Okay, someone gets it. Good. Appreciate it. Thank you for not making me feel that old, Colin. I mean, I was a kid when that song was out, but, you know. That's new. It came out in 88. Okay, well. It could have been before my time. Uh, no. Nah. It was, it was like around the time that I was born. I'm not. I would have zero memory of it. Please, no more, no more shoot. 
Ow. Ten years before you were born. Oh, well, could be worse. But that doesn't make me feel too bad. Give horse, please. Ah, yeah. Just because they're going to be sticking to the roads. Oh, oh. Wait, am I? Eh, not really, but all right. We'll 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 get there. Go, horse, go. Ignore them. Okay, uh... Do you think the horse will... Okay, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm just at a loss. I wonder, because here's the thing, with a lot of songs from the 90s, a lot of them have, uh... They've been remade, and I just wonder if they're ever going to remake that song into a different genre. It'll just be weird. I should have dealt with them. I hope not. They've done it for a lot of stuff. <laughs> Why would you stop in front of the right? I hate the horse so much. But it's going to help me get there quicker. It just doesn't let me try and course correct. Like I could have, I could have salvaged that. Instead, it just assumes, "Oh no, tree coming up. Better stop." That's that's the height it was complaining about, I guess. Yeah. 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 Ha. <laughs> Yeah. 
Eventually, we'll take a trip over there. Not necessarily to finish the game, but just to grab the stuff from it. I love how the horse doesn't wake the high knocks up somehow. Probably a Korok. Eighty-nine. I do want to try and get the three hundred, but I don't know. <laughs> that would mean I'm a third of the way. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> the cricket sound. It's alright, I can ignore it. I'm not going for those yet. I knew there was something wrong here. It might be time to get off the horse. Okay, uh, remove. <laughs> give it an apple. You can give it an apple. I didn't know that. I'm assuming when I get off it. But the bond is already maximum, though. I love how I don't think of the, uh... The nice thing to do to care for my animal. Everyone else is like, yeah, yeah, of course you can get given that apple. What kind of monster doesn't give their horse an apple? I've just been petting it the whole time. Just doing that. I did it for a good 20 minutes. Some of the stuff I can't get till later. 
<laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't that bad. Stop it. At this point, I I'm on a mission. <laughs> Let me just see if this one's one that I can access or if this is one of the difficult ones. I got the feeling this is one. Oh no, there it is. That's cool. All right, this one's easy. Some of them are uh, up high, and I can't get them currently. Two ninety. This is the spot that I wanted to come to. I may as well do this shrine behind me. What's gonna suck about this is just the process of getting the scale. Shay lawyer. 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 What is this? Doesn't look like it's a test of strength, thankfully. Aim for the moment. needs one. Oh, maybe not. Not enough momentum. Wait, what? Oh no, there we go. I was gonna say. <laughs> what happened that?
There'll be a, a, a straight arrow somewhere here. There we go. Refund. Oh, right. This is new. I mean, I've already used this one a few times. <laughs> Toes are just completely bruised at this point. I thought that was it. What else do I have to do here? Oh, right. That. <laughs> Completely forgot about the thing behind. You know, it'd be great if it wasn't raining. What is it, my smart man? What are you looking at? Hmm? What could it be? Happened to notice that cliff. Yeah, okay. Man-made. It's the electric arrow. My smart man, tell me. You can see it too, yes? Take a closer look. If I could get there on my own. Gaggle. Some of these names. Wait, how's that? Oh, because in the shade. There we go. Sick. I'll see if I can re remember correctly, but I think... It was noon. We'll see. But it goes along this uh, ravine. could look it up, but I want to see if it goes by memory. I got, uh, Farosh correct. We'll see if Din. If I remember Din.
I know it's not immediate, and you have to wait a little bit, but it does come down this way. Hello, Lanius. How are you today? Uh, have I gotten far? Just on a detour, because I'm doing the Akala thing. Getting the scale. But otherwise, uh, yeah. Did a lot on Akala. Just taking a little bit of a detour into this area. Because this is the spot that I know where it appears reliably, and it's pretty easy to get once it does appear. I just, uh... Can't re remember the time, but I think it... It was noon, and then you just wait, and it'll appear. I could just look it up. <laughs> There's a cycle you do, you know, when you're teleporting around, when you're allowed to teleport. Between three of these stables, and then you can get all three just in a cycle, and you just rinse and repeat the cycle. Yeah, I'm telling everyone this, but I got struck by lightning without, uh, wearing anything. I mean, no sword, no shield, no... No bow. Nothing was equipped, got struck by lightning. So that was fun. What's this child doing? He's got a bug on his back. Lucky. Boy, I really wish I had a backpack. When I grow up, I'm going to buy a huge backpack with a million little backpacks inside. <laughs> I'm so unlucky, it's amazing. Yeah. No, I'm lucky. I have... I just have chaotic luck. It's one of those things where something unlikely, whether good or bad, happens to me. That's just how it happens. I'll just take a walk along here. It's definitely along this ravine, so we'll see it. But I think I got the time wrong. It might be a morning thing. It could very well be nighttime as well, I don't know, but it's definitely not noon. It should have happened by now. I'm just gonna mark out the canyon. Think of it as having a map before the map. More north for Din? No, nah, it's not. Din appears in this canyon. Trust me. I've done it. I've farmed it so many times. Don't have to go more north. It's here. It's just at a specific time. Three spots. This one, back where the stable was, in the jungle on the waterfall, and the other one is just at the uh, entrance of Leneru. The, uh, the ruins. That's the best three dragon farming spots, because it's easy to get to. And you just jump into the cliff. 
It's like, what the heck is that shadow? It's, it's the base. There's, there's multiple spots where he appears. It's not one, but I know this spot because it's, it's just... It has a warp point so convenient. It's just, you just teleport there and then he's just there. You just jump into this ravine and you get it. You just need to know the time. I know the time for the jungle one, but I guess I didn't memorize this one. Din is called Eldra in German, just got confused by the name. Huh. It's a very different name. Dinral is the full name. It's already evening, so... I mean, maybe Din just doesn't translate well, there's just a weird sounding word, I don't know. Sometimes I question why they localize things that don't really have a meaning, it's just a made-up name. But it could just be maybe phonetically it just sounds weird. Okay, hang on, what is the name of this place? This is Tabantha, right? Okay. Tabantha Bridge at 5 in the morning. Uh, okay. That's the answer. The Bantha Bridge at 5 a.m., which is like a couple minutes wait. The three dragons in German Eldra, Nadra, and Ferodra. What the heck? So, Na Nadra they left, Ferosh became Ferodra, and then Din became Eldra. I guess they made it consen consistent if because they took Nadra and then made everything else draw. So it's like dragon. Yeah, I, I think it, it's consistent. It's kind of logic. It's kind of logical as opposed to it being um just different sounding. What are the dragon's name in Japanese, I wonder? I don't- I can't find an answer to it. Hmm. 
Yeah, couldn't find an answer. But I wonder if the Japanese names are, have some form of consistency as well, and maybe it's just the English localization is just the weird one. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, all we can do is white. It's gonna be a, a little bit of a white. Let me see if maybe one of these trees has uh has anything on it. Be honest, when you saw this, did you think it was a mushroom or did you think it was a tree? They look fungal. Yeah, it's a uh, baobab. Baobab. I forget how you pronounce it. But it's a tree that's found in Australia and in Africa. And they look pretty much like this. I mean, I think the ones we have don't look like this, but it's the same variety. See, I would do cooking, but I think it's it's just gonna cause time to go slower. Once you open the menu, it just doesn't progress time. It's okay, this is just a little bit of a detour, so then you can get that shrine done, and Akala region is more or less complete. Okay, I'll tell you what, because there's still a bit of time. Let me get this Korok. There's a Korok here. Never mind, it's time. Time is nigh. Yeah, so this is the spot that I know of. Did it hit? I don't think it hit. Okay, where is it going? Oh, look at that. That's somewhat convenient. Wasn't too far down. Get a picture. There's Dinral. It's just a bit weird that the English translation is different. But, oh well. That's fine. I don't know if I can get back up this way. Din is Orudora, Nedra is Nerudora, and Farosh is Furudora. Yeah, so basically English are, are just the, uh, hey, let's make them inconsistent and different. I had a feeling that in Japanese that it was going to be something like that. I bet you every language except English has, like, the dragon. You know, the sense of, it's a dragon. <laughs> English localizations are so dumb. They always have been.
And sometimes they'll even do a regional difference between Europe English, European English, and American English. Like, whoops. Take a... Okay, I got some for you that might trip you out. So, Bomber Man. That game was uh, Dyna Blaster in Europe and Australia. Star Fox, the original Super Nintendo game, was Star Wing. And Star Fox 64 was Lilat Wars. Contra was Probotector. And instead of uh, featuring humans, it featured robots. Oh, it's raining. Okay, well, fuck me, huh? That was a waste of food. <sighs> well, guess I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, it's that you're trying to climb? No, no, you're not going to climb right now. There's a whole canyon here that you need to explore. Yes. Explore the canyon. Have a sense of adventure. Okay, now the rain stops. Now that you left the spot. Yes. <laughs> I hate this game sometimes. I was almost at, at the top, and I used food, and then it was like, okay, rain time. <laughs> it's just, I'm just, I'm just not saying, I'm not going to say anything. <sighs> all right. Well, I got to go all the way around to get my horse. It's like, haha, you thought you were going to get up there. No, it's, haha, I thought you were going to go back to your horse and make your way back and progress. Now you have to take a 10 minute detour. Because, you know, lo look at the, the backdrop here. Sand, not much vegetation. Yep, rainstorm. Three rainstorms. One when I got here. One when I tried to climb back up, the brief minute it stopped, and then the third one when it just started again. Do I remember the shrine on the bottom left corner of the map? Uh, pff, roughly. It's been a very long time. That's the one that's in a skull, isn't it? Like a dead dinosaur? Dead dragon? Oh, bottom right. Bottom right? Eventide Island?
this <laughs> detail. The Alan Weir equipment gets removed. Yeah, it makes zero impact. This this is the playthrough. This this whole continent is that island. Okay, there goes the Breath of the Wild playthrough. Okay, highlights. They got struck by lightning, not wearing anything. Didn't have a weapon, didn't have a shield, didn't have a bow, got struck by lightning. And, uh, did a bunch of stuff. Now, in this canyon, when I tried to climb up, it started raining three times, so now I'm taking a detour to get my horse. But otherwise, almost 300 Koroks, so that's good. And, uh, what else? Shrines are like a 43, something like that. Yeah, hey, Hyper Kirby. Uh, I mean, if it's here, where is it? Ah, uh, why, why do I think I'm gonna regret this? I'm just gonna go to bed if I climb this and then it just starts raining right now. That's when you know you should end your day. Those clouds look dark. <laughs> they do. Okay. I'm just trying not to do too much of this area because I'm being systematic about it, going tower by tower. But I know there's stuff around. Like, there's a few that I remember. There's a, there's a couple on these, uh, windmills. Look at how- look at how far away I've had to walk. I've had to go around because of the stupid rain. Like, I've, I've pretty much- I've pretty much mapped out the damn canyon at this point. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Uh... It's okay. One of them knows where I am. <laughs> I hate this game. Okay. No, 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 it's, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that. Just gotta be smart about it. Just don't, don't stress. Everything's fine. Yeah, that was problematic that there was a whole cluster of them. Okay, because I'm a glutton for punishment and I have a feeling there's one here. Okay, there isn't. Run!
It should be okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I can finally take the scale back. The Koroks in this area suck, by the way, because it's constantly... Dropping back into the ravine and then climbing back up. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of what just happened. Alright, where's my horse? Back to a color. Huh. Detour was fun. Huh. Oh yeah, wait, is this does this count as a metallic bow? I guess we'll find out. I just teleport because not allowed. It's a rule that I'm imposing on myself. No fast travel allowed. But also, it's better if you're looking for all the Koroks to not fast travel because you might come across one that you missed before, even though you think you were thorough. So that's the other reason, but primary reason not allowing myself to do so. Yeah. Pretty much, if you don't see me do something that's obvious and minor, it's because it's a rule that I'm not doing it. Why don't I have health? Why don't I have stamina? Yeah. Why am I not wearing clothing? Why haven't I got weapon slots? Why do I do this to myself? Just, it's all the same answer. Okay, that one I could probably get. It's not that much of a pain. Not too much of a detour, I don't think. It's a, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Blip, blip. Blip, blip. Blip, blip. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It's down there. Such showmanship, what? Making a, a state of tension that I might not make it.
doing very well for only having three hearts. Thank you. It just goes to show how well designed this game is. Whoops. That this is possible and I haven't really run into too many problems. I'm definitely not going to fight Ganon this way, but you know. Just up until the part where I become all-powerful, it's going to be a struggle. Because otherwise I can't do Trial of the Sword, because it has that restriction where you need a certain amount of health to get in there. So that's part the reason. But eventually the Korok mask will come off and then I'll don the hero gear. Okay, so I'm up to 46 now. I am Zaltawa! You only get the mask in Master Mode. No, not at all. Um, if you got the DLC, uh, it's available. So, as long as you have the DLC, it doesn't have to be Master Mode. Yeah, you find it. I'll. All right. I'll point it out. It's, it's right there. Ah! <laughs> Where is it? Okay, got the cursor on it. Exit hero mode. Korok mask is right here. So there you go. If you want to make note of it. Lost Woods, the moment you get to, like, that central part with the... You know, after you get to that central part where there's, the, there's a tree stump and you're supposed to continue onwards, instead, go hard left and it'll be inside a tree. That's all I went to the Lost Woods for, so... Then you can yahaha to your heart's content. It's gonna go too far. <laughs> Just one arrow was enough. Uh, because this is a double bow, that's why. Wait, is it? Maybe it's not. No, it's not. Okay, then I'm mistaken. like to see normal dungeons in Tears of the Kingdom with I dungeon items like other Zelda games. You're not going to get the other items because it just fundamentally changes the game loop too much. It's very unlikely they're going to do that, but dungeons looks like they're going to be a thing. The problem is the moment you introduce... This is why it can't happen. The moment you introduce items that are found in dungeons, it means that by you're kind of imposing a restriction in a sense that like okay, let's let's talk about um older Zelda games for example, right? 
when you got to a dungeon, you got a dungeon item, and that dungeon item meant you could progress somewhere else in the land you couldn't before. That doesn't apply to this land. Like the what because they're using the same map, right? You look at look at how I'm playing. I have base stamina and I have ba base health, right? And I can get anywhere I want to. For there to be dungeon items and for that to make sense, they need to strip that out. And it needs to be a thing where those items you find in dungeons have some use. Otherwise, you're just getting them and they don't really do anything. It's just, okay, I could have gotten here anyway. It's not the ma it's not the map size. It's more because this is free world. It's just, you can go anywhere. Then it's not a restriction. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no restriction anymore. Hang on, go back. It's just a, it's a fundamentally different game the moment you have dungeon items. You can definitely have dungeons, for sure. But if they were to do that in Tears of the Kingdom, like, the claw shot would be something that you would use in the dungeon and then probably nowhere else. Because everywhere else you climb. So instead of dungeon items, they're giving us the ability to make stuff. I think we're getting something better than dungeon items. The ability to make our own weapons and whatever vehicles we want. That's better than dungeon items. <laughs> what would you get for the 500,000 point redeem? Literally nothing. Uh, glory, bragging rights. It's there because there was some people in chat. Most of them aren't around. But they were like, they want something to do with channel points. And the thing with channel points is... I want it to be something that's not... Uh, what's the word? It's not something that I have to make too much effort or like derail the stream just to do it. It's funny because it gets asked so many times, I'm like, this isn't like a game show where, you know, you get offered the mystery box. It's like, no, dude, it's, it's, it's literally nothing. This isn't a mystery box where there's a secret prize or something. But there have been people that have redeemed it. I mean, at that point, I guess you're classified as someone who's, like, part of the furniture. Yeah. I should have a sicker prize. What, what would it even, what would it even be? That I would want to do that multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. A marriage proposal? I'm not going to propose to some- well, I guess you could say no, but- I'm not going to propose to someone for 500,000 virtual points. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, it takes about two years to gather up that amount of points if you're watching on a uh, very frequent basis. So I guess if I get to know you in that time and it gets to that point, sure, but like... <laughs> be the first Twitch streamer to get married because channel point redeem. Yeah. 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 Man, you know, that's so... That's something that's going to happen eventually. I- I just... I don't know when, but it's going to happen eventually. Someone is going to get married because of a channel point redeem. 
But yeah, I mean, people get married for dumber reasons, and that's why more than... It used to be about half marriages fail, but now it's like more than half of the marriages fail. Huh. Huh. I don't know, man. I just... Nothing against marriage or people that are married. That's not it at all. If you want to, if you want to get married, that's fine. In fact, if my partner, if I have like an interest to do it, sure. But the whole thing where you feel like you have to get married, that's just a boomer mentality. That's just such a boomer societal construct that is just unnecessary and stupid. Or the fact that you have to stay together because, oh no, heaven forbid, you break the marriage. Like, that shit is just horrible. And it's thankfully disappearing. <laughs> Am I dating anyone? Not currently. I mean, are you kidding? Like, man, I'm so surprised with all the, the noises I make. Ladies, one at a time, please. Like, uh, let's see, I, I, I can make noises like, uh, Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Yes! Yep, see. If I'm not dating someone by tomorrow, man. I'm not, I'm not getting married for one million channel points. That's not gonna happen. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop. Gets late. Got 10 million channel points, you can get a green card. Still not worth it. You know, the webcam thing, I think I've addressed it before, but it's it's a thing where I don't think it adds any value. I think people are overvaluing how much a webcam would actually add. Because my facial expressions are not exactly they're not, they're not exactly amazing. It's it's not gonna add much to it. And I just like my stuff being more about the content as opposed to me. Like, I think I can stand on my own two feet without having a webcam. But the other thing is it adds just this extra layer of pressure. It's like, in summer, if it's really hot, I'm going to be sitting here in, in, uh, in clothing because I can't be shirtless. Or I can't sit in underwear if I want to. I have to look somewhat presentable. But the other reason it's been the longest running joke is there was one night there were three new people in chat and they were just for a good hour trying to get me to like turn on a webcam. So I uh, I said, all right, hang on a sec. So I, I got up and I started making noises in the background like I was getting something out of a drawer. And I come back after like five minutes of rustling. And then I put a JPEG of a 19, early 2000s uh, web camera on the screen. I'm like, there you go, I put a webcam on the screen. I put a cam up. And it's just been this running joke that anytime someone asks, I just delay, delay it another year. So we're looking at uh, 2030 now for the webcam debut. See you then. It would be hilarious to do a webcam with only a forehead showing. Too much production effort.
I mean, if you want something to look at, I'll just... I could do the Wario VTube thing again. That was an April Fool's thing. I'll become a VTuber. Again, not, not shitting on VTubers. They're fine. But I'll just do that instead. You played games in the dark, so you struggled making a webcam work. Well, that's the other thing as well, now that you bring that up, Confirmy, is I play games during the night where I am, so I would have to... I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to bring myself to do it without doing something with lighting in here. Because the lighting is, is not great. And lighting, ugh, in summer would suck because this warm weather would, would destroy me. I wouldn't be able to stream in summer. The heat from the lights, man. Just want to see the expression when I do the voices, but you understand the reasoning. Thank you. Just use the imagination. Just the most visceral thing you can think of, and that's probably the face I'm making. I don't think I'm that expressive. I think a webcam only makes sense for something that complements what you're playing, as opposed to just being there. Because, okay, I'll, sure I make funny noises, but that's what, like, 30 seconds? If that, and then it probably doesn't happen again for a while. The rest of the time, I'll just be sitting there with, like, a blank expression on my face. <laughs> you think I sound hilarious? Have you laughing a lot? Well, I am happy to hear that, but you do watch when you're at work, right? Like, hopefully it doesn't cause you to laugh out too loud. Most people don't mind. <laughs> one, of the, one of the moderators here are... Uh, Used to work a security job. And there was once where, uh... I don't, I don't remember what noise I made, but I made a really loud noise as someone was walking by, and he kind of had to explain what the fuck he was watching. The hero tracker mode plays a noise every time you die. It does, but it doesn't track all the deaths. It doesn't- it doesn't look like it tracks the ones that are inside shrines, for example. Because when I did... I- does it? No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, because... Um, I found that out very- very early on, when I only had 20 deaths, and it counted 14. So six deaths were not counted. And I was definitely keeping track properly. So it- it doesn't- do it correctly. You'd be horrible because you don't say anything most of the time when playing with friends. Yeah, here's the thing about streaming, Lanius, when it comes to talking. It's something that you get comfortable with over time, because let me tell you, if, if you were to hear me with my first couple of streams, I just... I sound like I'm bored or I also sound like awkward, just not comfortable. It just, because, you know, okay, here's the, th when you start streaming, it's a case of you're not streaming to anyone. And so you get into this mindset of, well, why am I even talking? No one's watching. And it took a while for it to click where I have to be like, well, turn off the number and just assume someone's watching and treat it like a podcast thing. But even still, it was for me to get to where I am in terms of being able to talk. It, it just takes a while. It's something that 
you'll build over time. And when it comes to playing with friends, um, as long as those friends are good at acknowledging the chat, that's where I find it works. Sometimes it's a case of you're playing with friends and then you forget about chat, and that's not great. So I tend to only play games on stream with people that aren't streaming or are aware enough of chat that, you know, it doesn't sound like someone else is talking to a separate chat. Alright, make make your bets. You think the tree's fixed itself yet? No? Yes? Okay. We'll see who's correct. It's not here. I'm just drop popping in to uh, grab stuff. Yeah, streaming is uh is not easy. You're going based on my luck. Okay. I guess that's that's a it's a pretty valid strategy. Nearly there. It's been... It's been multiple hours. Hey, Seth. How's it going, dude? Goes exploring. That's going all right. I'm just on my way to drop a dragon scale. And then I think this region is more or less complete for the time being. Good luck with what happens after the scale. I should be fine. I'll be fine. I beat one of those before. Death count and go brrr. I will subvert expectation and not allow it to. Alright, drum roll. It's fixed. <laughs> Saving! It's, uh, it's fixed. Man. That should have happened a very long time ago. Okay, uh, let me remove the marker. Hooray!
Yeah. Got it now. Should not have taken that long, but got it now. What is this? This dimple here. are alive again. Let's just make sure, where is it? <laughs> I love how eight is grayed out. What? I don't, I want to consume power. Nima. Tatsuanima. Shield. I love how it just it happens up with that. This is one of these circumstances where I have to use stuff. Okay, um... We'll go with this one for now. Enhance your ability. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thinking, I got this one. I had it. I had it. Didn't die. Get very good items in exchange for what I got. Okay, and it was... This one that I had equipped primarily, so... Yeah, the defense buff is, uh, pretty important. But whilst it doesn't completely save you, it, uh, it does a pretty good job. It has to be a high defense, though. It can't be, like, a medium or a low. I'll mark this one as a weapon shrine as well. See, no death increase. It's fine. All this concern. <laughs> rip, rip what? No one died. Your hopes and dreams. You wanted me to die? I mean, it's gonna happen elsewhere. It's just, this one specifically I knew was gonna be hard. Because there's no cover. It's still a lot to go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh look, it's raining again, which means I have to go the long way. Okay, hang on. I should be safe here. I mean, imagine if I got struck by lightning there. I think that would be time to go to bed.
Yeah, I forgot to, uh, hold up. Just so I know what replenishes weapons. over here. Am I getting a digital copy or a hard copy? Hard copy, because the digital copy is $20 more expensive than the physical copy. Yep, Australia makes sense. Or at least game companies selling in Australia makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. There's a story behind it, but long story short, um, remember when there was a housing crisis in America and uh, the economy went bad? It was the opposite in Australia. And uh, instead, we didn't, we didn't go into a recession and had a boom instead. So at one point, the Australian dollar was worth more than the American dollar. So these companies were like, okay, we need to charge Australians more money. So they changed the prices of games on digital to match um, more or less what retail copies were. And then when the dollar went back to normal, they didn't change them back. So now what we have is digital games... I'll give you the most recent one. God of War, that was 129 digitally. You could get a, a physical copy on Amazon for 109. And now it's still 129 digitally, or I can purchase it for 89 physically. Because it's been out for a while. So, yeah, that's, uh... That's why I, I just buy stuff, uh... Physically, where possible. There's also a, a thing with Nintendo not having a good track record with maintaining digital purchases. There's also that, but... Um, primarily, the I'm saving like $20, $30 every time I buy a game. After three games, I effectively save enough to buy another game. Oh wait, I don't need that. It's just this. This guy's an idiot. It sucks. Yeah. But I mean, I still get a decent price game. It's just I can't... Can't do it, uh... Digitally. But it's fine, I mean, yeah. It gets delivered pretty much right away, so... I don't have to wait. I don't have much... The problem with um, the Goron area is you have to wear the, the heat resistant. Otherwise, yeah, it just doesn't work. Because it's flame resistance, I believe, not heat. But I think going up the mountain, I should be able to just use these. I don't have much cool Safina. Is there anything else that grants cool resistance? Sizzlefish. I saw I caught some. I 
Didn't I? I thought I did. There it is. And then... Wait, let me just make sure. Sizzlefin, is that correct? Boost your resistance to the cult. Wait, no, it's wrong. It's almost lunchtime. Getting anything special? Doing anything special? What are you eating? I might regret asking that question because then I'll get hungry. I guess this is all I got, huh? Alright, I'll make some more stamina food since I'm here. Wait, you're not eating anything or you're not doing anything special? Not eating anything. Ah, okay. Uh oh. Well, that failed. I thought that would have worked. Oh, you can view the recipe. Look at this. Huh. But I mean, why can't this be documented? Insects you need to use monster parts with? I used a moblin horn, though. Or is it guts? No, you know what? Don't do it. It's fine. This should hopefully be enough. How much time have I got? I can always make stuff on the fly that'll last longer. I got an ice spear so I can drop meat and keep making food. Don't things don't think you can combine insects. I uh, use lizard, insect, and um, a moblin horn. Lizard, insect, same thing. No, they're not. One's a predator of the other. Lizard, insect, same thing. Movie, TV show, same thing. I guess if everything's the same thing, I'll just start calling everything just the thing. And not waste time using words anymore. If you mix, mix the thing with the thing, and then the third thing, you get the fourth thing. I'm going to that place to do that thing.
Not all lizards are creepy. Some of them are pretty docile and chill. Okay, I got one for you confirming. We have we have pizza bites here in Australia, but you know, it's the same as pizza rolls. Same as the Totino's pizza rolls. It's the same thing. No difference. I don't know I don't know why you're so hung up on the pizza rolls when those other ones are just about the same. Doesn't work with food? Sure it does. Same thing. Same thing. Hot dog sandwich, same thing. hot dog is in a sandwich. Okay, so you have the, the hot dog bun. Alright. When it has the hot dog in it, it's a hot dog. But then what happens if you put chicken in there? It becomes a sandwich. What happens if you put beef in there? Is that still a sandwich? What happens if you swap the bun then for toasted bread? Slices of toasted bread if you have beef. Is that still a sandwich or is that a burger? What if you swap the beef for chicken? Sliced bread and chicken is a sandwich. Sliced bread and beef burger. Is the hot dog defined by the bun or the meat? Because if it's defined by the meat, then if you take a hot dog and put it between two slices of bread, it's still a hot dog and not a hot dog sandwich. If it's defined by the bun, then how come Chicken in a hot dog bun isn't a hot dog. Why is chicken in a hot dog bun a sandwich? And why is a burger patty inside a hot dog bun a burger? Or is that a sandwich too? A burger is a sandwich, yeah. Conceptually, you're sandwiching things together. It's a sandwich. We can do mental gymnastics all day. But I think we'll get a little tired and get hungry and maybe go have a hot dog. And when I say hot dog, I mean the traditional sense of, like, the hot dog in a hot dog bun, not chicken in a hot dog bun that I'm calling a hot dog, ironically. Ah, this is what I talk about. If you put a hot dog between two rice crackers, is it still a hot dog? Or is it a sandwich? No snacking, it's late. Nah, I'm good. The dumpling soup I had 
surprisingly filling. It's good. It's a poor man's meal. Yeah, but a classification. If I was making a cookbook, and you know, I divided my sections. I had soups, I had sandwiches, I had burgers, I had pizza. What category would it fall under? A section dedicated to hot dogs where it's just different fixings. And before you say, well, what kind of book would do that? I have a book right behind me that is dedicated to grilled cheese and soup. It's like a grilled cheese encyclopedia, almost. With recipes. And soup as well. You would just have it on the hot dog. Right, so... A hot dog between two rice crackers is a hot dog. Got it. Taking notes. On the topic of sandwiches, this is a serious question. <laughs> I'm not being a dick. Go to for sandwiches in terms of fixins. It's the low-carb hot dog. You know what? That would probably be a thing. But, it, I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's... Dude, if you're going for a low-carb hot dog, it's just... It's the same kind of thing where you're going to McDonald's or KFC for a salad. My dude, just have the, just have the high-carb option. You're already making a, a sacrifice and a trade-off. But yeah, sandwiches. There was this Italian deli that used to be near where I used to work. And man, they did this, uh... Like, buffalo mozzarella. It was, uh, tomato. And then it was... Rockets. And then olive oil, and that was it. And that was really damn good. They toasted the bread and everything there. It was like a panini bread. It was so good. That's a sandwich I could eat every day. <laughs> but I mean, if I'm making one... I was always fond of making, um... I guess kind of like a grilled cheese, but it had egg. Kind of like an omelette. And then having something like, uh... Maybe salami or, uh... Bacon or ham. One of those. Whichever I had. There's a Korok here. That sounds good. It was my go-to growing up. That's what I would make myself. And still do it to some extent these days. Do you like mustard on your grilled cheese? Ooh, yeah, mustard's good. Hey! Shit. It's probably down here somewhere. It's probably not up here. There's a cork right by Lionel. Yeah, you have to go get the rock. It's one of those ones where you have to fetch the rock, right? Just use, use stasis and yeet it. If 
forget where this one is. It's not, it's not this, is it? I don't think it's this. Wait, get rid of that. Yeah, it's not that. This rings a bell. I remember, uh... This took a while. The first time I did this, I was like, where is this Korok? Well, this is the only one that can be picked up. Why is this the only one that can get picked up, though? Show me a power, yeah, but hang on, where is it? I'm trying to do something as well, chat. Hang on. I forget which spot it's, it is. This Korok sound is driving me crazy, I don't know where it is. It's probably off the edge. I don't know where it is. It's weird that that's the only rock I can pick up as well. Maybe they patched it. But there used to be this thing I used to be able to do it reliably. Running into these fences, Link would get stuck. And wouldn't be able to climb out of it. But it's not happening anymore. Yeah, he hops on now. Well, did they patch it? They must have patched it. <laughs> Damn it. Don't get to see my immature glitch. Oh well. But it just looks like, I'll just say what it is, it just looks like Link is humping the fence. Kinda, it doesn't look good. But it looks like they fixed it. I was... Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Maybe. Nah, that, it's, it's definitely not the same as it used to be. <laughs> they probably patched it. Okay, where is this Korok? I'll stop doing that. Where is this Korok? It's gotta be... ...below. There's no way it's up high, because it would be obvious if it was up high. Oh, you know what? This is a hate competition, isn't it? Oh shit. Uh oh, not good, not good. Shit, I'm dead. Oh, now I'm fine. <laughs> it's not the hate one? Okay.
I ever did it a little bit. What on earth is... This is driving me crazy. Where is this Korok? <laughs> Brutal. Brutally rude, Tiny Highly. And the sacred platform is for true Goron men, as decided by the Goron Blood Brothers. And, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, it still works. The animation's not quite the same, but you can get him stuck. He's stuck right now. <laughs> okay. I'm done. I want, it, I want it to look like it did before, though. Hang on. But you can see, you can see how it gets pushed around. That's there's something weird with the hitbox of this. There we go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you got to see it. Where's this car? <laughs> I don't know where this car is. There's a stone here. That, there's only one stone movable. But it didn't. It didn't do anything when I moved it. <laughs> it's gonna be like that other one where it was simple, and I just overcomplicated it. Hey, Cookie, sorry. <laughs> it's busy doing that glitch thing. The only other thing I see that's different is like, okay, maybe... X marks the spot, right? Nope. See, it's not, it's not here. Heck is this? I'm not seeing. This happened the first time I came here. Exact same Korok, I remember. It took me ages to find that, but I don't remember the solution. I'll just do the shrine thing. Screw it. Feel the burn, brother! The hotness here is a training ground for manly Goron men. We climb this cliff like it's nothing to prove our grit. You got some guts in that tiny belly? Then talk to my big bro and prove it. I'm gonna hate the answer to this. I'm gonna look over the edges and see if there's anything that can be... I don't know what this is. This is already way too far. I hate that this is going to get me a second time. Huh? 
Yep. I mean, look at this. Link, what are you doing? This one doesn't have a co this one doesn't have a stone above. But that's no, can't be that because how do I get it up? How do I get it up there? I feel like I'm going through the exact same process again. I think I used the balloon to try and get it up there, and then it wasn't that. No, there's, there's no way that there's, there's no way it's that convoluted. It's got to be something simple. Okay, you know what? Just do this first. Pump it up, brother! By the gods, I love me some muscle. This right here is a hardcore training ground, String Bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. It's where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. Um, please move. I ain't moving a muscle, brother. Not a single well-defined muscle. This is a special platform, sacred even. Only real Goron men, as decided by us. Three Goron blood brothers are allowed. Besides, my littlest bro is in the middle of training right now. A brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. But I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. Almost like you have a Goron air about you. I like it. So what are you waiting for, brother? Get training. Yeah, that's if... That's it. If you can clear our hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Alright. Good answer, brother. We're going to shred you to pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Okay, let me explain how this hardcore training works. The rules are dead simple. Dead simple as a deadlift, brother. Starting from the bottom, you gotta climb back up here within the time limit. But don't fool yourself into thinking it's only a climbing challenge. Little man, you gotta pick up rupees as you go. Climb to the cliff within the time limit and grab a possible number of rupees. Do that, you pass the test. You run out of time or decide to give up halfway through your climb, you'll have to return all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. We're gonna help you push your limits, brother. Your physical, mental, and emotional limits. All right, enough messing around. It's time for the hardest of the hardcore feats. Gut check challenge. That hurt to read. <laughs> oh, almost forgot a tiny detail, tiny man. No train, no gain, and no pay, no stay. Yeah, 20 rupees per attempt. Let's do it. Gotta collect 100. Okay. Um Imagine I come across the Korok whilst doing this. That's not good. Uh, I mean, I should still be ahead because I'm climbing quicker, technically. This should be doable without food. Okay, this part, we're gonna... It's fine. If I ever feel like I'm going to lose, I just...
I'll eat the food. I'm gonna have to eat food. Okay, consume. Just relax, relax, relax. You're fine, you got time. Aha! Korok! Goal! That was glorious! Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees you scored. Looks like you got 128. Unbelievable. You passed our training with the grit of a true Goron, my brother. In fact, you've earned the right to call yourself the fourth Goron blood brother. As promised, you are allowed to stand on this sacred platform of Goron manliness. A real honor, I know. You're officially one of us now. Our true Goron brother, brother. Welcome to the family. And good news, fourth brother. That means you can do the gut challenge. Check whatever you want. As a Goron blood brother, you've ready, you're ready for the hard stuff. Just let me know when you're pumped enough to try it. I'm good. Can, I, can you please tell me where this stupid Korok is? Yes, for once, first try. Okay, good, already worthy. I mean, I think I did use that one, so let's just... <laughs> just being able to climb up and eat as you climb. Worthy. Forty-eight. Yeah, not a whole lot of Koroks tonight. But I have explored. Uh, wide areas. Okay, you know what? Uh, this is driving me nuts. Where is it? Wait, what? It's up here. What? It was on the ground before. What? 
Oh, you've got to be- what? I, I got it. Was this rock always up here or did I imagine? I'm gonna have to watch the footage later. <laughs> okay, and on that note, I figured it out. So this is where I'm gonna leave it for tonight, chat. It is, it is late, I need to get some sleep. But I wanna thank you for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed your time spent here. Especially if you're new around here. Thank you for uh, checking out the stream. And for the regulars, I always appreciate you being here. So, tomorrow is a night off for me, so I don't plan to stream. But on the off chance you do any, you do see anything, it'll probably be on YouTube. If I do end up doing something. But yeah, otherwise it's a night off from Twitch tomorrow. So I'll return the next day, and we'll continue, uh this stuff so hope you'll join me for that then but in the meantime of course if you want to watch any of these streams or any of the other games that i've played including all the zelda titles before this one you've always got youtube and i'll be sure to post the vods for these two tomorrow during lunch so expect them i think that's it oh yeah youtube thanks for tuning in and if you want to support do like comment algorithm fun stuff <laughs> okay